Hello everyone, today we are glad to introduce Flying Man AFM. This is the USB cable to connect AFM and the laptop for data transfer. This is the power cable to provide electricity for the device. From left to right, turn on the power button, illuminator button, and CCD imaging button. Open the case. Use the hex wrench to loosen the fixed screw on bottom. Lift the skinny parts into the ear via springs. The inter rod with 4 core springs is able to highly decrease the surrounding effect on testing results. Select the prop stage. Put it on the desk and make the back side upward. Select the elbow tweezers. Lift the prop, press prop stitch with left hand. Then the flat spring will give a space in the slot. Insert the prop tail into the space. Release the left hand, push the prop into the slot slightly. There's a tiny straight verge on the prop which will stand against the slot borderline. Stop pushing if you can't go further. Turn over the prop stage and insert it. Take out the specimen. Select the straight tweezers. Put the simple on a simple stage. Add the software. Choose solution. Insert the calibration card above the prop stage. Then do the electric calibration. First, turn off the illuminator. It will help us to observe the laser's working condition. There are four knobs on the head of scanner. There are knob A, B, C, and D from left to right. Knob A and B work for controlling PSD position. PSD works for accepting laser signal. Knob C and D work for controlling laser transmitter to make sure that laser hit on the prop cantilever. When the laser irradiates on the cantilever, it will make a diffraction spot on the mirror. We can clearly observe the diffraction spot on space under the second mirror after reflection. We can judge the laser position on the cantilever by observing the shape of the diffraction spot. Adjust knob C and D until the laser reaches the right position on the cantilever. Rotate knob C clockwise to move laser further apart from our side. Rotate knob C counterclockwise to move the laser closer toward our side. Rotate knob D clockwise to move the laser left. Rotate knob D counterclockwise to move the laser right. Adjust knob C and D continuously until the laser reaches the right position on the cantilever with the right diffraction spot. 
This is the position of PSD. This is the position of laser transmitter. The laser light reflected by the cantilever and shoot on the PSD. The PSD accept light signal and transfer the signal to software. Since the cantilever is fixed, we need to adjust the position of laser transmitter and PSD to make sure they are ready for duty. After adjusting the diffraction spots, we need to rotate knob A and B to make sure that the PSD is at the right position to accept the laser signal. Rotate knob A clockwise to move PSD right and the rest spot will move upward on the software. Rotate knob A counterclockwise to move PSD left and the rest spot will move downward on the software. Rotate knob B clockwise to move the PSD further apart from our side and the rest spot will move to right on the software. Rotate knob B counterclockwise to move PSD closer to our side and the rest spot will move to left on the software. The movement of the rest spot on software should be synchronous with our adjustment and the energy bar should not have large fluctuation. We should make the rest spot on the crossings of the software by rotating knob A and B. The system parameters. Before testing, move the sample right below the prop. Turn the knob on the right side. We can press the green button anytime. By pressing it, the sample stage will move far away from prop cantilever. For example, if the lab is suddenly out of power during our scanning, it will be very dangerous because there is tiny distance between the prop and the sample, and it's really easy to break the cantilever. Press the green button to lower the sample stage after power recovery to protect the prop. Pressing the red button will raise the sample stage up and approach the prop. Only press the red button when approaching. Don't touch it any other time. After we put the simple under the prop, we push the red button to continuously make them closer. Observe their movement. Stop when their distance is approximate 2 mm and switch to software auto approaching.
close the software first after scanning. Then press the print button to release the prompt. Observe carefully to make sure that the safety distance between simple and prop. Take the prop stage out and put it on the desk upside down. Take the simple out and then insert the prop stage back. At last, turn off the power in turn.